Hello and welcome to the session in which we would look at this BEC CPA exam simulations. The first thing you do when you look at a simulation is what type of a simulation am I dealing with? Scroll down a little and we could just overview look we need to compute some numbers there's an amount here so it's an amount computation and drop down yes or no issue that's the type of simulation the next thing you want to know is what is the topic of the simulation well just by inspecting this I'm looking at ratios financial ratios so it's some computation with a drop down menu and financial ratios great financial ratios this is good news for you why because if you're using forehead I teach you financial ratios inside out so now your your confidence level should go up your stress level should go down on the exam because it's about this before we proceed any further I have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses my CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Now what would you do next? Well, I would read this real quick, just see what, what is it about. Oil Inc., a privately owned company borrowed from th bank in year five. Oh wow that's an unusual transaction right a company borrowing money that's very usual the controller has asked you to calculate key mat matrices to determine compliance with loan covenant okay now i know what this what is this simulation is about we took a bank loan and we need to compute ratios to determine whether we are in compliance or not with those bank loans with that bank loan covenant the company generated two million and fifty thousand in cash flow from operating that's fine now i know what this what is the simulation is all about what do i do next i am going to look look at the exhibits real quick not much real quick just to see what's in my exhibit guess what i'm not going to even look at this one i know it's a statement of financial position what does that mean i have a balance sheet here that's it i don't even have to waste time at this point i have an income statement statement of operations here i have a bank loan covenants well i'm going to look at this I'm going to look at this now I, I want to look at this to see what's in, inside that covenant because this is exactly what I need to do I need to compare my financial ratios my current ratio to the debt covenant well am I in compliance or not that's the question that's it that's what this simulation is all about so if you read it it says th bank uh, the lender is pleased to enter into loan loan agreement with you you can read it but what, what you need to get is down to here here are the conditions of the debt covenant the company will not be permitted a quick ratio to be less than 1.5 so what I would do on 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 the side what I would do on the side I would put down for example on the side on my note I would say quick ratio 1.5 so this way because I'm gonna need those numbers later I don't want to pull it every time I'm looking at a number that ratio not to exceed 0.8 so I'll copy those that ratio 0.8 so on and so forth this is what I would do now once I do this I close it and now I'm ready to compute to do some computation well the first ratio I'm asked to compute is the quick ratio well what's the quick ratio good news you don't have to memorize it because the quick ratio is right here they're giving you the ratios here so you don't have to memorize the ratios but you you need to know where to get the information from well the quick ratio is cash and cash equivalent short-term investments receivable net divided by current liabilities that's great they gave me the ratio well where do I get the information for this ratio all these numbers are balance sheet numbers what I would do I will go to the balance sheet statement of financial position balance sheet I will take cash and cash equivalent account receivable I don't have investments I'm gonna add those two and divide by divide by the current liabilities which is 5,230,000 I'm gonna do this now in front of you and I want you to do it on the exam like what you should do you should practice those why because notice the calculator is the same that you're gonna be using on the exam day so it's very important that you are comfortable looking at this it's 5 million 5 million 870 are the quick asset divided by 5 million 230 and that's gonna give me 1.12 1.12 quick ratio so my quick ratio 
done. Debt covenant compliance, and the answer is no, it's not. It's not debt covenant compliance because remember, the number was what? The number was 1.5 for the quick ratio was 1.5. Well, I know this. I know this is not going to be, this is this is bad news for the company. They, they violated this covenant. Total debt ratio has to be 0.8. Now, I don't know how to compute total debt ratio. I know how. I know the formula. But assuming I don't, I'll go back to the, I'll go back to the analytics and I will figure out uh, real quick what's my total debt ratio total liabilities divided by total asset where do i look for this well hopefully i know that liabilities and assets are part of the balance sheet and what i would do i'll go to the balance sheet and i will divide total liabilities by total assets to figure out the ratio that ratio well i'll take this number the total i'm oh, sorry uh, total liabilities 25 million 810 25 million 810 divided it by 45 million 930 once again i want you to do this i want you to practice those simulation and it's 0.56 if my math is right again point i, I put here 0.56 uh yeah it's a 0.56 not 0.57 i accept am i in compliance i am because it's a 0.8 i could i i can take up to 0.8 finance my assets up to 0.8 and still be in compliance well i am in good shape why because 0.56 is less than 0.8 times interest earned once again if you don't know the ratio you'll go to the ratio then you will times interest earned times interest earned is coming from the statement uh, of operation or income statement which is earnings before interest and interest earnings earnings before interest and taxes which is four million three hundred and twenty divided by two hundred and sixty thousand once again the reason i'm doing this in front of you just to get you used to the computation divided it by 260 and that's equal to 16.61 16.61 so am i in good shape yes because if you look at the requirement they want they want a times interest ratio of 10 i have 16.61 yes i am in compliance with this ratio in other words my earnings are covering my interest expense return on equity return on equity what is return on equity it is net income dividing it by you have to be careful you have to be careful here because return is net income it's an income statement account which is which is net income two million seven two million seven hundred and thirty dividing it by equity equity is a balance sheet account once you are dividing an income statement with a balance sheet account remember the balance sheet is a point in time therefore what i have to do i have to take year one and year two year one and year two equity year one and year two year one plus year two find the average of those then take net income dividing it by dividing it by the average let me do it in front of you because it's about because i'm taking a balance sheet account and i'm comparing it to a to an income statement therefore i have to take 20 million 120 20 million 120 thousand plus 17 million 390 thousand divide this by two and that's going to give me 18 million 755 and my net income is 2 million 730 now i'm going to take my net income dividing it by the average equity and as a result i will be able to compute return on equity then compare that number to the what to the uh, to what's required so i'm going to take 2 million 730 which is my net income uh, 2 million not 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 27 2 million 2 million 730 dividing it by 18 million 755 that's equal to 14.56 i'm gonna round to 15 it's gonna be 15.15 point 0.15 point and all what they require for the debt covenant if you copy it down all what they require is is 10 percent I don't know why they are concerned about return on equity but that's fine as as a loan they should not worry about what am i returning for my equity but that's fine operating cash flow ratio this is important this is an important figure okay an important ratio like in the real world because you're looking at your 
operating cash flow divided by current liabilities okay so we have uh, we are giving the operating cash flow we're not giving the statement of cash flow this if this number is not giving then you have then statement of cash flow will be given to you well let's reset this and let's start let's clear the tape if we have cash of two million fifty thousand two million and fifty thousand i'm going to divide this by the current ratio and the current ratio coming from the bal balance sheet which is five million two hundred and thirty thousand and that's going to give me a ratio of 0 0.39 0 0.39 0 0.39 am i in compliance absolutely not 0.39 why because i need to have a ratio of one this ratio is supposed to be 1.2 i am not in compliance I'm, I'm really in trouble if i was the bank i'll be worried about this company but a lot of stuff don't make any sense here um or it makes sense it looks like they are generating revenue revenues and income but it's not in cash okay profit margin what's a profit margin it's a profitability ratio and it's coming from the statement of operation which is net income divided by total sales in other words how much am i keeping how much am i keeping from my sales in profit so let me take it two million seven hundred and thirty dividing it by dividing it by thirty nine million five hundred and that's going to give me point six nine one one point six nine one one um i'm gonna make it point seven rounded it to point seven point oh seven am i in compliance they're only asking for five percent return on equity i'm sorry profit margin therefore i am in compliance okay so this is how i will how, how i will solve how i will solve this simulation is this simulation more or less difficult than a multiple choice i would say no more, no less difficult than a multiple choice. I can give you this information and ask you to compute the quick ratio and ask you to give me the answer and whether you are in compliance or not. Give you four different options. I would say, here's the income statement. Here's the balance sheet. Here's that covenant. Let me know if the quick ratio is in compliance. How much is it and if it's in compliance. It will be a multiple choice. But it's not a multiple choice. It's a form of a simulation. So don't, the point is I'm trying to make, don't be overwhelmed simulation is no more than a multiple choice framed differently i know some simulations will be difficult i know this is what i'm saying is easier said than done because you're working under pressure the key to working under pressure is knowledge and this is where four hat lectures can help you if you understand the ratios how do they relate to each other you will be fine and this is how i can help good luck study hard and stay safe